float like a butterfly, sting like a bee. What does it take to be one of the top boxers in the world? Well, I had a chance to find out. Just at the bottom of this escalator in downtown Toronto, we have one of the top boxers in the whole world training. He is Canadian and his name is Samuel Vargas. He's gearing up for the biggest match of his career against Amir Khan in the UK. Now we have a chance to exclusively catch up with him before the big match. Come on. So what does training look like for you? We're working really hard, sparring three times a day. Uh, we're at SWAT here doing conditioning training, a lot of running outside. Heading into the fight, what is something that you are focusing mostly on when it comes to Amir Khan? When, when you look at his fighting style, what are you really trying to either change in your routine or add in? Well, for this fight, I really, I really focus on myself. You know, I really want to bring uh, Sammy Vargas that no one's ever seen. You know, I'm, I'm training with Chris Johnson now, so he's bringing out a new beast out of me, and uh, we're working on the, on the on the little stuff. This beast you're talking about, I, I mean, I watched some interviews with you, and you've got a lot of confidence going into this match. Is that the confidence you have to have when you say, this is how I'm going to take him out? Yeah, absolutely. You know, boxing, is, it's a mental game, most of it, so uh, going through this fight, I just keep working on just getting to the target, hitting the right spots, finding the right shots, taking my time, being patient and it'll, it'll come. It's just one of those things that, you know, you look up to the sky and then, you know, you've done all, your, all the hard work in the gym and everything has been done and you're confident on your abilities to win, so that's, that's all that matters. This match is a little bit different um, for you in that it's 12 rounds um, and previously you've done 10 round matches. How does that change things for you? Training, it changes everything, you know, we're, we're picking it up. Every time we're in the gym, we do 12 rounds of work. A lot of conditioning, a lot of strength training here at SWAT Fitness. And like I said, it's all mental. This is home court for Amir Khan. Yeah. How does that play into you heading over there? How does it change your training here? And then once you get there, does that play into your approach in the ring? I feel like it fuels me. It fuels me in a way because, uh, like I said before, I've been there and, and it's someone else, it's someone else's home turf, so. It's not like I've never experienced it or I've seen it before. And this time around, I know how it feels. I know what it feels like. I know what I'm supposed to do. We know his, his, his chin is, is, a, is a weak spot, so we want to work the body and then remind them that, give him that deja vu feeling and then end the fight. What do you say to kids who are, who are training now, the, the little ones who are thinking, can I do this? What any words of wisdom do you have for them? Be tough. Everything is different when you're in the ring. You, you fight out there, you fight for your, for your family, for your son, for your kids. So when, when that's on the line, you know, the beast comes out. Okay, Sammy, now it's time for the fun stuff. Uh, I think you can teach me a few moves. Absolutely, let's get ready. We'll start with the basics first. Let's do it. Thank you so much. No okay, Sam is fighting on September the 8th. Please support your fellow Canadian. Cheer him on as he heads over to the UK. You guys, I think I'm ready. <laughs> that was a lot of fun. We will be following Sammy as he competes in the big match. Of course, that's coming up on September 8th.